We provide hair and beauty salons in Ireland and the UK with a bit of software that runs their business, does their appointments, you know, their marketing, their point of sale, and also allows them to take bookings online to their website or through Facebook. And it came about because, um, completely randomly really, about six years ago, my co-founder, his girlfriend, had a salon, and the salon was having a big problem with no-shows. It's, it's a big problem in the industry. Um, you know, you can imagine on a Saturday it's a busy day and someone doesn't turn up at 10 o'clock, that's 100 euro down the drain. So, um, and they've no way of filling that space if the person doesn't turn up. So what we did was we wrote a little calendar app that just sent appointment reminders by text. It was really simple um, and it worked really well for her. Like she cut down on her no-shows by about 70% and she was losing 20 grand a year on that. So for a small business, that's a huge amount of money. It's like a wage, you know what I mean? So 70% of that saved with this little app was brilliant for her. And we, we were do, doing other things at the time, but what happened was basically for, uh, people who knew her heard about it. And we started getting calls from other salons around Ireland wanting it. And one thing led to another. And one day we woke up and we had 30 clients, salon clients, and we were doing other things and we weren't even focusing on it. And we realized that this is a big opportunity. So we ditched everything else and concentrated on this market. There's 35 in the company, um, mostly based in, up in Capel Street, uh, there in Dublin, but we have a team of five in the UK as well. And uh, a lot of people would have come from, wouldn't be from a software background, they'd be from a hair and beauty background. So we kind of have a kind of interesting mix of people that are hair and beauty based or software development based, so it's interesting. There's about four million salons around the world. So currently we, we serve just under a thousand in Ireland and the UK. So we're literally the tip of the iceberg of the opportunity. Um, and the market's growing rapidly, particularly in India and the developing world. Um, as people get richer, they spend more money basically in salons. So the market's growing there, but it's also growing in, uh, in the Western world as well. There's, there's, there's been an explosion in kind of new services that salons would provide. So obviously you know about cutting your hair or having a facial, but things like needling and, and Botox and things like that, there's just every year there's more and more services. Um, so it's, it's a really interesting fast-paced environment, but it's also one that doesn't really, they haven't really embraced technology really. Um, so most salons still would take appointments on pen and paper even in 2012. So there's a huge opportunity to, you know, to capture that. Um, and use our software to book appointments and things like that. So it's Ireland and the UK at the minute. We launched in the UK two years ago, um, and we're now gearing up to launch into the US, which is our plan for next year. And there's nearly a million salons in the US, so it's a huge, it'd be a huge leap for us. The two big plans are, one, you know, we, we set ourselves a really big goal a couple of years ago, which is that we wanted a million salon clients and to help the million salons grow their business. So we're now, like I was saying, we only have less than a thousand, so we have a long way to go. But it was good to kind of have such a big goal because it means that it kind of focuses the mind and the steps we need to take to get there. Um, so the next step is to go into the US and then it's, you know, to continue expanding worldwide until, until we meet that goal, however long it takes. Um, and then the other area of the business that's really interesting is just the move from booking appointments over the phone to booking them online. A lot of other industries, like, you know, like obviously travel or hotels and things like that have all gone online over the, over the last decade, but this sector hasn't. Um, but it should do, because there's a clear need. Like in a salon, you know, most, something like 60% uh, of phone calls to salons go unanswered because they don't have a receptionist. So that's a problem for the salon because they're losing business and also for a consumer as well. So we, you know, we solve that problem. Um, so there's a, big, there's a big opportunity there to solve that problem and obviously we can generate revenue from that as well. So um, that's another area of the business that we're really work, working on. Blue Mercury, part of the HBAN, they led a, a, a seed round last year of 1.2 million. Um, Enterprise Ireland were involved as well in Enterprise Equity. And um, that's, we're basically, uh, that came in last year and we've, we've had our fastest growing year yet in the last 12 months off the back of that particularly in the UK. Um, and then, you know, we may look for, for further funding as, you know, depending on 
how, where we stand in relation to the opportunity and stuff like that over the next year. Thank you.